गाइस हैप्पी हैलोवीन वंस अगेन दिस इज आर जे निधि एंड यू हैव ट्यून्ड इन टू फन स्टूडियो द फन टाइम रेडियो इन दिस एपिसोड गेट रेडी टू नो अबाउट सम ट्रेडिशनल हैलोवीन रिचुअल्स प्ले अ ज़ॉम्बी क्विज एंड एंजॉय अ फन पोएम आई होप दैट यू विल ऑल एंजॉय हैलोवीन स्पेशल पार्ट 2 एज़ मच एज़ यू एंजॉयड पार्ट 1 You are listening to Fun Studio, the Fun Time Radio. Stay tuned. Time for a knockout. Knock knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo hoo. If you are going to cry, I won't tell you. Ha 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 ha. That was funny, isn't it? We all play games on Halloween, but. There are also certain rituals associated with Halloween since ancient times called divination rituals. Manish will tell you about some of them. There are several games traditionally associated with Halloween. Now, I Manish will tell you about some of the games that originated as divination rituals and foretell about a person's future. On the Halloween night, an apple is peeled in one long strip and then the peel is tossed over the shoulder of a person. The peel is believed to land in the shape of the first letter of the person's future spouse's name. Another tradition is that two hazelnuts are roasted near a fire, one in the name of the person roasting them and the other for the person they desire. If the nuts jump away from the heat, it is a bad sign, but if the nuts roast quietly, it foretells a good match. A salty oatmeal bannock is baked on Halloween. A person who eats it in 3 bites and then goes to bed in silence without anything to drink has a dream in which their future spouse offers them a drink to quench their thirst it is said that if unmarried women sit in a darkened room and gaze into a mirror on halloween night the face of their future husband would appear in the mirror however if they were destined to die before the marriage a skull would appear in ireland and scotland items are hidden in food usually a cake and portions of it served randomly and thus a person's future can be foretold by the item they find for example a ring means marriage and a coin means wealth until the 19th century the halloween bonfires were also used for divination in parts of scotland wales and brittany when the fire died down a ring of stones was laid in the ashes one for each person in the morning if any stone was mislaid It was said that the person it represented would not live out the year. These are some of the divination rituals that are followed even now. Though some of them may be spooky, all of these rituals are very interesting and are worthy trying ones. Thank you. You are listening to Fun Studio, the Fun Time Radio. Stay tuned. Let me tell you a fun fact on zombies. The exact way to kill zombies is to break their head or damage their brain. Now you know how to kill a zombie. But are you sure you would survive a zombie attack? Mayank will help you find out. Hi everyone. I am Mayank. Suppose there is a zombie attack on you. What would you do? How many chances would you have for your survival? You will come to know soon after this. Zombie survival quiz. So, everyone, turn on your survival mode on. So, I'll be giving you options for each question, and after choosing, I will tell you the points for each answer. Add all your points till the end, and then I'll tell you your chances for survival. Well, let's start. Question number one. You are walking home. from school and you find a zombie telling you what will you do now option a turn around and face the zombie option b run the other way option c scream for help hoping that someone will hear you hmm if you choose option a you get 2 points for option b you get 3 points and for option c you get 1 point now let's go to the second question when you get home you find a main door ajar what will you do now a hide in the parking lot b enter the house and quickly shut the door c go to the neighbors if you 
choose option A, you get 3 points. For option B, you get 1 point. And for option C, you get 2 points. Now, for the third question. A zombie finds this hiding place and grabs you. Now, what will you do? A. Try to bite its hand to free yourself. B. Struggle, scream and kick your way out of its grip. C. Stuff your shoe into the zombie's mouth. Let me tell you the points. For option A, you get 1 point. Option B, you get 2 points. And option 3, you get 3 points. Moving on to the fourth question. You escape the zombie somehow and reach the supply shed. What would you pick as a weapon against the zombie? Your options are A. A helmet B. A loaded gun and C. A cricket bat Now, if you choose option A, you get 1 point. For option B, you get 3 points. And for option C, you get 2 points. Now, for the fifth and the last question. Zombies have surrounded the shed you are in. Now, what will you do? Option number A. Put zombie makeup and walk through them. Option B. Use all the weapons you can and attack on them. C. Lay low and hope they'll go away. So, for option A, you get 3 points. For option B, you get 2 points. And for option C, you get 1 point. So, calculate your scores and now I'll tell you all if you survived this attack. If you got 10 to 15 points, I can say that you are the perfect blend of caution and intelligence. If you got 5 to 10 points, you are bold. You will make it for about a day with that attitude. If you got less than 5 points, you have clearly not seen the horror movies and even if you have, you haven't learned a thing from them. You'll be among the first one to become the zombie snacks. So, how many points did you get and did you survive the attack? Tell us in the comment section below. You are listening to Fantorio, the Fun Time Radio. Stay tuned. Time for a fun pun. Knock knock. Who's there? Which? Which who? Which one of you can fix my broomstick? Halloween is a beautiful festival with many rituals and we cannot tell you about all of them. But Ananya has tried to sum up some of the wonderful Halloween things into a poem. It's Halloween night. Hope you enjoy the poem. Hello everyone. I am from Fun Studio. Myself and my Sajjan. Today I will tell the poem on Halloween. On the night of Halloween, anticipation weighs heavy as the boys and girls get their costume at the ready. For it's the night when candy slows beneath the moon's glow and everywhere you hear the noise of laughter echo. With scary sights and many frights, kids walk by the porch light for there's nothing else that is quite like a starry Halloween night. Glowing jack-o'-lantern lights in the hair, there is a fright. The neighbors handing out the lights, it's Halloween night. Your footsteps creeping up and neighbors porch say, Oh, a full-sized candy bar, well that seems fair. But watch out the houses giving raisins in a box, a few of them and suppose you will move to a different block. As record rating with your friends always seems so right because in every year there's only one Halloween night. If you eat too much candy, you may very well turn green and that my friends ruin an otherwise perfect Halloween. But if you eat too little, you may possibly be sad and that may make an otherwise perfect Halloween seem bad. So, boys and girls on Halloween, here's what you must do. Limit your candy intake precisely 22. Glowing jack o lantern lights and the hair, there is a fright. The neighbors handing out the lights, it's Halloween night. You are listening to Fantorio, the Fun Time Radio. Stay tuned. Halloween is fun. 
I hope you enjoyed our program just as much you enjoy celebrating Halloween. So don't forget to like and share our video and tell us your views in the comment section below. Also, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that yet and do recommend us to your friends and relatives. Next week we will be uploading a new video. So, stay tuned.